Hi everybody, it's Brad with The Big Family Homestead, and in this video I'm going to share with you six cool uses for pepper. So let's get cracking. Here on our homestead, we are always on the lookout for a way to do a thing cheaper, faster, better, uh, more efficient, and usually that leads to household items that you can do a multitude of different things with just one item. And so this video is on pepper. Now, before I get to the list, I want to make sure that you know the comment section is for you guys. If I have left something out of this list that you think is needing to be known, the world has to know about this use for pepper, please put it down in the comment section below. Cause you know, I'm only picking the six that seem interesting or unusual or maybe just not regular common knowledge that my six may not be your six. So make sure you put your comment down below. So without any further ado, number one is pepper can be used to fix a tiny leak in a radiator. That's right. If you've got just a small leak and you need a quick fix to, to uh, get you from point A to point B, you can take, you know, about a handful of regular old black pepper, throw it into that radiator. And when it, when it heats up, it's going to actually kind of make it almost like it's a very solid thing and it will fill up tiny little gaps in your radiators and it can save the day if you need to get from here to there and you got a leaky radiator, so bam, pepper. You can use pepper, more specifically like a cayenne pepper, to be a decongestant. There's no need to go get the nose spray and all that kind of stuff. All you gotta do is put a, a healthy amount of uh, pepper on your food and you better be bracing for impact because you're gonna be dribbling, dribbling and it will decongestify your nose ASAP, bam. You can also use pepper, like a pepper water mix, uh, to keep bugs off of your plants in your garden. Now, uh, I've personally used cayenne and it works well for me, keeps the buggies off. And uh, well, basically that way you're not gonna miss out on potential harvest. So a little water mixed with a little cayenne, you sprinkle it on, spray it on, and you are good to go to keep them bugs away. And while we're on the subject of keeping things away from your plants, your garden, it makes a good deer scram, a deer repellent. Now keep in mind, once again, you're gonna use it the same way. You mix it with some water and then you spray it on your plants or make a perimeter around your garden. Uh, but the thing is this, you have to reapply it. Do not uh, forget that when the rain comes, it's gonna wash it away. So you need to make sure that you're reapplying and, and basically the deer don't like it. I mean, think about it. If you got a mouthful of that stuff and you were expecting a delicious tomato or whatnot, I'm sure you might be startled too. Now this next one's really cool. I didn't know about this until recently, but you can take a couple, about you know, a tablespoon or two of pepper and throw it into your laundry, into your wash, and it will keep bright colors from running. Uh, it, it, it's just that simple. You throw the, the tablespoon or two of pepper into your wash and those colors will stay bright and fresh much, much longer. So how cool is that? And lastly, but not leastly, at least for this list, you can sprinkle some black pepper or cayenne pepper, whatever kind of pepper you have, into your cabinets and it will keep ants at bay. That's right, they, they're in there looking for the sugars and the sweets and the goodies, and when they find that pepper, the, the cayenne or black pepper, they are going to reject it. They're gonna say, no, 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 keep ants out of the cupboards. Now, just a side cool thing that I did not know until uh, making this video, but check this picture out. This is actually what pepper, you know, peppercorns look like. They're like little red berries and they don't turn black until you've boiled them. And then they shrink up and get hard like that and that's what makes the pepper. So I thought, neat thing, I'll share it along. Anyway, there you have it, video for the day. Please don't forget to comment and tell me your cool uses for pepper. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead and you guys have an amazing day.